how to do the vintage Super 8 MMM look that you've seen a lot of music videos and videos and commercials. So let's get started. First, go into my bio and click the link to my website where I'm giving away a free preset pack for this look. All you have to do is download the, the link and plug it into your Final Cut Pro and it's that simple. You don't have to do anything else. So once you come to my website, from the link in my bio, click on free downloads, and here it is, the Vintage Super 8mm look. Click that link, it'll take you to my Dropbox where you wanna download this folder. Once you download that folder, open your finder, and it will be in your downloaded section, Vintage Super 8mm look. In that folder, it'll consist of the preset, the preset, and three overlays to finesse the look. So let me show you guys. Once you download that, you yeah, this is the other way to get into your Final Cut Pro. If most of you don't know, just open your Final Cut Pro effects presets and take this preset and drag and drop into there to your Final Cut Pro effects presets. There's videos on YouTube, other videos on YouTube. I will be putting the link uh, in the bio to show you guys on how to upload presets into Final Cut Pro. But that's the e that's my way of doing it if you don't know. So once you do that, you will have to restart Final Cut Pro all over, close it out, open it again. Wait for it to open. Once you have Final Cut opened up again, come to your search bar and search up Vintage. And here it is, Vintage Super 8mm look. So you wanna drag that effect into your clip. Come here. Damn, beach ball. Come hit, drag and drop into your clip. That's half of the, the work. So you have the color of the vintage look now. The next thing you wanna do is come to your finders and that same folder you downloaded, the three overlays I gave you, just take those and put them in Final Cut Pro. Damn, beach ball. So yeah, just drag those into Final Cut Pro. Like, there's no being shot in there because it's being recorded. But yeah, all right. So, just take these three overlays I give you guys into that folder. Just put them over each other, lay them up, lay them up. And you wanna go put Luma Key into this one. Take away the black, put the take put the white up on Luma Key, take away the white. Then the next one, you wanna layer this one up with the, the black. Put the Luma Key in there. And then you wanna take this one. This, this one right here is like a dust scratchy effect to make it look more old school and vintagey. 
this will sell sell the this will sell the whole ventures look for you guys you do this step right here you download the folder the free link i gave you guys into my bio it will sell the whole vintage look for you guys so once you do that you take the luma key put it into this clip and then you want to put the black down put the white all the way up all the way up to that and that will sell the video out and you see how it has the scratches on there like it scratches all around the tv so you play the video makes it look vintagey so that's how you get the vintage super 8mm look a quick finesse you don't have to do it from scratch you can just go into the link in my bio and go to my website and download the free preset pack i have for you guys and just put it into your final cut pro and just do what i just did and you have the super 8mm vintage look you can twerk it you can do anything you want to it you can add colors other effects to it whatever you want you can do it you can take these off you can just have just the clip you can have just the clip however you want but i like it with this because it just sells the whole video for the vintage look like he makes it look more finesse of a look like you know so yeah thank you guys if you like and subscribe and comment into this video i will be posting more videos and tutorials on how to how to do videos for final cut pro and other premiere and after effects um also check out my new website oneeyevisions.com the link will be in my bio where I'll be posting free downloads and preset packs and where you can learn more about me and contacts and all that. All that good stuff. That'll be it for today, people. Have a good day. Thank you.